Temperature is actually a, a vital sign for a reason. It's one of the most important things because, as you know, if you get a fever and your temperature goes up by one degrees, it's only one percent difference, um, but you know how terrible you feel. Same thing happens when you lose your temperature. Um, when you're one degree below normal or two degrees below normal, um, you really don't feel very well at all. And uh, for ambulatory surgery where patients need to uh, get back to their regular life immediately after surgery, um, they, they want to feel good and they need to feel good. There's also some um, significant uh, differences in post-operative infection rates for patients that are cold. And uh, when you get to shivering, um, shivering can be significant depending on the patient. Shivering increases your oxygen consumption 400%. So somebody who has a cardiac history, that may be significant for them postoperatively. We saw in some of our data that our patients had lower body temperatures than we wanted them to have when they came out of the OR into the PACU or the post anesthesia care unit. We are also required by AAAHC, which is the Accreditation Association for Ambulatory Healthcare Centers, to do a certain number of quality improvement projects every three year cycle of accreditation. So what they want us to look at is where we're having any sort of problems. So we saw that we were having a problem with how many patients were coming out into the PACU a little bit too cold. And so we decided to tackle this as one of our AAAHC projects and also because it's the best thing to do for our patients. We work as a team to make sure that when the patient comes in they stay as covered as much as possible and because the operating room is cool and because general anesthesia um, stops your normal ther thermoregulatory response to low temperature which is shivering and other things that your body does hormonally to, to keep your temperature up, um, what happens is um, we need to maintain a patient's temperature when they come into the room. We did some education um, teaching the nurses that the temperature that we're actually reporting is the temperature within the first 15 minutes. So if someone comes out, they're a little bit under the 36 Celsius mark, then we're going to warm them up, check it again, and if they're normal thermic within 15 minutes, we're going to document that. Um, so that was one education piece. Also, we changed um, the documentation in the chart so that everything is Celsius. Our thermometers were all changed to Celsius so that everyone's on the same page with what the temperature is and um, what a normal temperature is. FIDES is a quality improvement data collection system that Rebecca Murray, who's the director of quality here, and Craig Curry, who's one of our anesthesiologists and one of our quality leaders, created back in 1991. And they used it just internally for Spectrum for many years. And in 2010, they went public and started marketing this across the nation. So it's a way for anesthesiologists to record certain quality metrics. And you can do it on paper or you can do it in electronic health record. And so they can mark what drugs they gave a patient, what sort of observations they had intraoperatively or in the PACU. So it's a really great way to collect data. And we were already collecting the, um, this particular metric even before Centers for Medicare and Medicaid made it a metric that we need to report. So we actually have years worth of data on the PACU core temp metric, which is really nice so we can see our progress over time. A lot of places who just had to start measuring this metric last year have to figure out a way to get this measurement, but we were already doing it thanks to FIDES. Because of this temperature project, the uh, surgery center has purchased a warming unit. So we're going to have it installed here pretty soon. It's here, it's arrived. It's a very big warming unit and we're going to have, um, we'll be able to pre-warm our IV liquids for patients when they come in and then also provide them with a warm blanket. So we'll be um, preparing them for surgery with a nice warm environment to prevent hypothermia.